Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you, how can install Vue.js CLI and also how can create one of the project. And after that create the project, I access that our local host. So here I access it. So I have already discussed about that things with you. So we successfully create our project. So that is our project I define in our exercise file. That is our view, right? So now in this video, first of all, I want to do, I want to discuss about that components. So what exactly that mean by the components? So like if you go to your side, I into the side, they have the some of the part, like there is a header part, they have some of the sidebar part, they have some of the footer part. And in Laravel, we define that part with the yield. And yield part is means the dynamic part, right? So every time if you redact it to the another page, automatically our header will be the same, our sidebar will be the same, our footer will be the same, only our this part is become changed. Right? So we just define that things with the yield. So with this yield, we just make the things dynamic. Only this part will be loaded. So in Vue.js, this part is called as a component. Okay, that means a component. So that is actually the component part. So if you want to load a specific some of the yield area, then you have to define that things with the components. So I hope you can well understand about it. What exactly that mean by the components. So now I want to do, I want to work for these components. How can create the components? How can manage your components? In this video, I will show you that things with the live example. So now here, first of all, our this file, that means in our public, that is our index.html. Okay, so that's actually the file that is our main file into the main file area here you can see that is one of the dev. So into the dev, whatever the things you will put in particular that area, it should be loaded. So that's the things I have already discussed about that things with you and previously that they have you have to do you have to define that your app all the JS file link in particular that area but right now that is updated and here automatically it's injecting okay you can see it's now also showing as a build file will be auto injected that means here we don't need to add any JS file link for our all that JS file so he automatically it should be injected so now that is our main part that means in our tape ID and the app right so i have already discussed about that things with you so i hope you remember that part so now i want to do i just remove all so now i want to do i want to open our that is a component into the component that is our hello world so that is all on the file better i just put the things with the uh, php so there is a php and also there is another one as a app view so here i also want to make the things as the php view syntax okay there is a, our app view and then our main js so that is our main js so that is the three file is our total structure so now i want to explain it how the framework actually work like here first of all that is the index into the index i just define one of the id as a app right and then in our src that is our main js that means here you can see into this main js that is actually the object for the view and here that is a mount our app so previously in our fundamental, I have already discussed about that things with you here. We define that things with the yield. That means I just define one of the elements into the elements. I, I just put that our this app, right? So I just define that things like that way, right? You can also do that using that with this mount. In mount means it's automatically binding two of this all that function. So it's combined two of these for the reasons now it's updated with you can use it with the mount. So it's the totally the same things before we use it as elements right now. You can also use the elements rather than you can also use it with the mount. Okay. I think it's very much clear to you and then there is actually the render. I will discuss about that render later and with the render here you can see it's that define one of the function as an app. So this app is means that import one of the app. Into the import app, there is a from one of the import one of the data. So that is actually the data in our this directory. That means that is our same directory into this position. That is our app view. Okay. So now it's actually redacted to this space. So here I just simply defining it. So that is a render app. So whatever the things you will put on particular that area, if you put as a Kazi, sorry. Uh, I just define as a Kazi, then you have to make that things as a Kazi. So with this, you can actually import it. So in Laravel, we include it. So they have actually the import function. So with this import, you have to define that your file extension. Okay. So right now it's okay with me. I just simply define as an app and the app. I think it's very much clear to you. So here I load our this page. That means our this uh, component as an app view page. So that is our in, in this position. You can see that is our app view page. 
I hope it's very much clear to you and also it's importing view from to the view. What exactly that means? Here is also imported some of the things from our node module. Like if you go to that node module into the node module here, you can see they have also one of the view file. So it's also import all that views. That means the node module into the node module that is a view. Okay. So I think it's also clear to you right now. So here I support our view and also I import and also support our app view. And now there is another part as a app view that means this page and this page actually the our total template. So that is the template components like if you want to create another template component into the template component you have to defining it three things like I just create new one. I just name it as a test. Okay test dot view. And as I told you before view is the extension of this view file. So you have to define as a dot view. So now I have created one of the test view and into the test view. There have the three things you have to add it. One is as a template. So I just simply define as a template better. I just put the things as a um, uh, PHP. Okay. I just define as a template. So the first part will be as a template. So that is a template and also you have to do you have to define another one as a, um, a script so i just simply define as a script okay you have to define that script and also you will need another part another part for the style so i just simply define as a style okay so that is the three part will be needed for every template sorry for the every template you will need this component if you want to create then you have to define that template and to the template area you have to define all that your code and all that your script code you have to include on here all that your css code you have to include it on here okay so that is actually the template format like if you now open our app view it will be very much clear to you now you can see now here that is a first of all there is a template and there is some of the script okay all the javascript is on here and also that is our style so that is our total template position i think it's very much clear to you so that is the our template formatted style. So I just now I remove it. Perfect. And now into this template area, into the template area here, you can see they have one of the ID as an app. So whatever the things you will create, you have to create it in particular that area. As I told you before, Vue.js support one element. That means the one single page element you have to define. So you cannot uh, create another one. You cannot create another div in particular that area. So you have whatever the div you will want to create. You have to create it in particular that position. Okay. That means here you can create new one. If you want to create new div, you have to define the div in particular that area. But you cannot create another div after that div area. Okay. So that is actually our main rule. So you have to must remember that part. So I think it's very much clear to you. So now here when you access our index page into the index page here, you can see they have the two part. One is actually this part. First of all, it's loaded our this page. That means the app view page and into the app view page here. You can see that is a good logo and there have some of the message. So it's not perfectly display that logo and that is actually the message. And then there is the another part. So here it's loading that part with this script. Okay, that means they're into the script position. First of all, you can see they had defined on the input, input one of the file in our component folder. That is our hello world and that view. That means in our component folder is loaded this space. So this all that data. So that is all the data is now perfectly visible. So you can see that is all the data actually comes from our this component page. That means the hello world component page. So here if you want to load it then what exactly you have to do first of all here you can see it's now showing as the export default and here one of the name property into the name property you have to create another property as a component into the component here I define one of the default component as a hello world. So with this hello world you can see there's a from our component so it's now redirected our this component to the space. So now if you go to that our this component page that means our hello world into the hello world. You can see they have some of the is now showing our h1 tag with this message okay it's now showing this message because of all here it defined that name so here is you can see it's now showing as a component name as a hello world into the hello world is defining that message so this message is printed in particular that area you can see that is actually the message is now printed and after that that is all that our documents okay you can see there's all the documents so right now all the documents is now perfectly loaded on here 
So now I want to do, I want to customize that part. That means here I want to customize it. So here there is actually the message in particular that area. If you go here, also they have some script. And into the script, you can see that is a name property as a hello. So from here, I define that name property as a hello. So with this hello, I just pass that message. So with this hello, I just pass that message. And with this strain, it's now visible. Okay, so that is actually the total template. So now I want to do like here, there is a p tag, so better I just copy it. And here there is our UL. So I want to do, I want to remove total things from here. Okay. And here I take one of the another H22 tag. So I just simply define H22 tag and I just name it as easy learning. I just simply define as easy learning. So now if you click on the save all, I just click on the save all. And now you can see automatically it's refreshed. And now it's showing as a welcome to the your Vue.js app. And that is our text. So that is our second part that means here that is actually our part and also they have the message pause as i told you before with this property is now showing this message string and i just pass that things from here so that is our all the images and then our this message is now perfectly visible okay and also there is some of the apps so over here you can see for the app that means here they have the id so for this id they have some of the style sheets so that is all that is style. so that is actually by default all the things so literally we will customize it and we will create our new component for our project so that is our components so how can create the component and all that component how actually works so i have already discussed about that things with you so in our next video i want to discuss about the another part like if you want to add the data function then how can you use that data function in your template area in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video